Lesson 2. Dynamic SQL and Refreshing Views. When you create a view, SQL Server stores metadata information describing the view, its columns, security, dependencies, and so on. Schema changes in underlying objects are not reflected in the view's metadata information. After applying such schema changes, it's a good practice to refresh the view's metadata information using the SP Refresh View Stored procedure so that the changes are reflected in the view. Create table and insert a few rows. Create two views. As a practice, avoid using asterisk in your select statements. I'm using it here just for demonstration purposes. When Views was initially created, SQL Server stored metadata information about the columns that existed at that point in time. At the moment, everything is correct. Next, add a column to people table. Update column. The schema change in people was not reflected in the view's metadata information. As far as SQL Server is concerned, the vPeople view still has just two columns and vPeople to view still has just three columns. To refresh the vPeople view metadata information, Run the SP Refresh View Stored procedure. VPeople View displays correct data, but VPeople 2 View displays incorrect data.
This is just one example where a schema change in the underlying objects is not reflected in the view's metadata information. You might find it to be a good practice to refresh all view's metadata information after applying schema changes to objects in the database. To avoid the tedious process of writing the SP refresh view statements you can use this procedure. The procedure with SP execute SQL generates and run the lines of code with the SP refresh view statements against all views in the database. At the moment the data are displayed correctly. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com